All right, next video. First off, let's change this wallpaper because we have already two videos on YouTube with the same wallpaper. So we have here Variety. Next please, and this is the choice from Variety. And we have here the wallpaper selector. We can take a look at this graphical kind of look. Let's this, that's no, not uh, so bad. I don't know who it is. Let's have a look. Blue moon, buy paper, etc. Whatever. We have this conky, uh, whether you want it or not. And in the beginning, it's always interesting to have something around to remember these shortcuts. But once you have knowledge and your finger in memory is um, acquired, then you say super. Well, Ctrl T, easy way, and then there's an alias, and the alias is called Kill All Conky. So that's the command you need to type, but it's so long to type. So we made an alias, KC, that's it, Conky is killed. Now, basically, Alt N, <laughs> ooh, nice one. Basically, um, where are my files? That's, that's, I think, the next thing. So we explained that this is all keyboard driven. Up there, there's the panel, the panel is called Polybar and we have files somewhere. Something has is, is running this, right? So super shift return. Where is the file? What do I need to know? It's in here. So it's not in the config files, often uh, open box uh, and i3, etc. Often they are in here, but this case, it's just plain open in dot xmonad. Dot means it's hidden. You need to have it here somewhere. Since we always need to go to it, you need to just bookmark it somewhere and I'll put it here. So Xmonad. The wall you see, the black thing you see is the wall we have here. So, okay, fine. And all the rest is um, all applications, right? This is an application. Xmonad needs to be um, compiled from time to time. If you change stuff, you need to compile it. So the only thing that is interesting for us is maybe the xmonad errors at some point in time, but this file is important and that's a folder with this and, and all the rest, but mainly this one. These two guys are important. Before I go into the details, I'll set everything up because opening up this, I would like everybody to try out not Sublime Text, but say open with other application Use Atom, use as default, open. Why? It's an application, it's a programming language, Haskell. So Xmonad is built on Haskell, fine. Let's get rid of some general stuff. Welcome guides and show welcome. Nope, thank you very much, bye. Yes, I want to help improve. And then you say, well, this is not nice. It's all white and red and, and strange stuff. How can you work in this? Well, I can't. You go to packages, you go to settings view, install package and themes, and it's Haskell, right? That's how you write it. And here it says Haskell language support in Atom. Install, please. And it's that simple. Now there may be other things you might want to install as well. Let's do those guys as well. And then we end this video and this will be setting up our environment to work. Minimap is an interesting one. And another one is pigments. Maybe from time to time we'd like to change colors. And then we're starting in styling and restyling and pigments shows the colors in your code. So that is set, so we get something else, right? This is looking better. And if you do some typos and do something wrong here, everything changes, all the colors change. And this is your hint that you forgot to type something. So Control Z, powerful thing, Control Z. So that's, um, that's conclude the video here. Everything is set up. We have Haskell, we have all the stuff that we need. Xmonad is going to be here and we need to go into, de into detail what is now inside this folder xmonad. 